What it do? It's your boy Webby. Stay Webby TV back at y'all with another one. Let's get it, man. So once again, the Minnesota Timberwolves, they defeated the NBA refs. The NBA refs, they did everything in their power to stop Minnesota from winning game four. Um, they wanted the Timberwolves to get swept. And let's be honest, man. Um, the refs have been against the Minnesota Timberwolves this entire playoff series. If you paid attention to the series with the Denver Nuggets in Minnesota, Minnesota was not supposed to uh, beat Denver at all. They ended up forcing the game seven and they got the job done. You understand what I'm saying? But what y'all got to understand is, is the NBA is rigged and the referees, um, number one, the referees, they're told what teams to help win. And they also put money on a team that that they're rigging to win. And in this situation, um, they want Dallas to win. Why? Because they got Luka, Luka Dantich, who's an overseas player who they would like to see be the face of the league, just like Nikola Jokic. Um, the NBA doesn't like Kyrie Irving. If, if you think that they're rigging this series because of Kyrie, the NBA hates Kyrie because he didn't get it back because he didn't get vaccinated. But they do like Luka Dantich, who's a player from overseas. Um, and let's be honest, he's very skillful, right? He's, he went professional at a very young age before he even came into the NBA. And um, he could potentially be the face of the league. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but one thing that I don't like about Luka Doncic is he's a crybaby and he begs for fouls and he flops, just like his European cousin, Nikola Jokic. Um, this is actually so bad that Jason Kidd has, has checked Luka Doncic multiple times for crying to the refs and begging for foul calls. Um, he even got Rick Carlisle, who's now the coach of the Indiana Pacers, who won an NBA championship for the Dallas Mavericks in 2011 against the Miami Heat. Um, he got Rick Carlisle fired because Rick Carlisle um, didn't like Luka Doncic. Same reason, didn't like how he, how he flops, how he's constantly crying for fouls, how he constantly holds the ball too much. Um, and Jason Kidd has the same issue, but they've gotten through it, right? So with that being said, um, the NBA wants to see Dallas go up against Boston. Um, two huge fan bases, you understand what I'm saying? Obviously, Dallas has a bigger fan base than Minnesota. And Minnesota is still a young team. Obviously, Anthony Edwards, he does show flashes of Michael Jordan. Um, even looks like him a little bit. But Minnesota is still a young team, right? Anthony Edwards, I think he's like 22 years old. Um, Cat is only like 25, 26. Rudy Gobert, I think he's still in his 20s. And, you know, you got uh, Josh McDaniels, who's in his 20s. Bunch of young dudes, right? The oldest guy on the team is probably Mike Conley, who's like 30, 34, 35, 36. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and last night, if you paid attention to the game, um, there was a play where Luka Doncic hit a four-point play. He hit a, he hit a three-pointer. And he got called for a foul, but it wasn't a foul, right? They called Carl Anthony Towns. They called a foul on him. And Luka Doncic ended up making a four-point play where he hit the three, went to the free throw line, and made another shot, right? Now, if you guys have been paying attention, for some strange reason, Carl Anthony Towns is always getting called for fouls when he's not fouling people, right? Like, and, 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 and what people don't understand is Cat is one of the best defensive players in the NBA. It's just he doesn't get his just due because... I mean, he's constantly getting called for fouls. There's plenty of situations where he ends up getting fouled out the game or he gets taken out of the game because he has too many fouls in the first half and they don't want him to get ejected out the game. So, yeah, man, um, the refs, they literally did everything in their power um, to make Dallas sweep, this, sweep the Timberwolves in this series. Um, Kyrie Irving did have a bad game. He had some bad turnovers. Um, didn't hit a lot of shots. Luka didn't play that well either. Um, we've seen better games for Luka Dantich. But once again, man, the refs did everything in their power to make the Mavericks win this game. And once again, man, the Timberwolves put it off. But if I was to give you guys a prediction, um, I have Dallas winning game. Um, I have them winning game six. Um, I think Minnesota's going to win the next game. But I'm going to tell you guys first. The refs are going to do everything in their power to get Minnesota to lose the next game. So don't be surprised if they lose game five. Um, but game five is going to be in Minnesota, I believe. Somebody let me know in the comment section. I think it's in Minnesota. But if game five is in Dallas, I got Dallas winning game five. If it's in Minnesota, I think Minnesota will pull off game five. 
um, stretch it to a six game series. Um, and at that point, you know, listen, we've seen the Timberwolves win three games in a row against the reigning champions, the Denver Nuggets, right? So this is a team that's capable of coming back from 3-0. It's just, it's hard to do it when they have the NBA refs who literally control every aspect of the game. Like you guys don't understand, right? The referees literally control the game. They control the chemistry of the game. They control the flow of the game. They control who scores the most points by calling free throws for whichever team they want to win. The refs literally decide who wins and loses the game. Now, there's rare times when a team wants to win so bad that they're able to still pull off a W, but it's hard. You understand what I'm saying? It's hard. If you got, like I said, if you guys look at the game last night, they literally did everything in their power to not make the Timberwolves win. When, when Luka Doncic hit that four point play, I thought the game was over because it wasn't a foul. You understand what I'm saying? It was a nice shot. Shout out to Luka, but he didn't fucking get fouled, man. And if you look at game three, uh, the Dallas Mavericks had way more free throws than the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves didn't even have 20 free throws. The Mavericks had over 30 free throws last game. So that's just the refs just showing you it's rigged. They wanted Dallas to win game three. They wanted them to win game four. Minnesota, they're just such a hungry young team that wants to win so bad. They have so much pride and they have a leader in Anthony Edwards that they stopped it from happening. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. It's your boy, it's your boy Wavy. I'm out.